Hey everybody, it's Final Form Sora, and we're gonna do another vlog. I guess that's gonna be the new title for these things. Um, first of all, Pi Show. Uh, I know you, a lot of you guys want me to make videos of a match. I can't, I don't have enough time to do that in person with any of my friends because we're all in college and we all have jobs. Um, but if any of you guys want to play a match over email, I'd be more than happy to do that. I can make a PowerPoint like I've done with other games when we were still test running my rules. And I'll just uh, make a video out of that. And um, <clears throat> I'll put your profile picture and um, profile name up there in, in the corner on your side that shows the points in the game. And I'll have a link to your channel in the bottom and I'll annotate the PowerPoint and whatever. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, one more thing is this table right now is set up for a uh, White Lotus Gambit game, which I didn't explain ver at all, I think, in the Pi Show rules. But I, a couple years ago when I made the Pi Show rules, I also came up with a version for White Lotus Gambit, which is what Iroh and <clears throat> the other... White Lotus member were playing in the episode The Desert when they had it set up like this. Um, so if you want me to make a video about that and post and have rules to send you guys on that, I'd be more than happy to. So that's it on the Pi Show. Next is Keyblade. This is the Skull Noise. It is still in progress. It is pretty. It's pretty light. It's probably as light as the Oath Keeper or a sleeping lion, and uh, <clears throat> I don't have very much of it done, maybe half, less than half, I don't even have this other side finished yet, um, I was supposed to have it done by Christmas, which is tomorrow, but um, it's actually being bought by my dad for my stepbrother, because he just moved here from um, a South American country, I don't know which one, and I don't want to offend anybody so um he's a painter so i'm just gonna prime it and he can paint it and you know so that'll give him something to do before he uh starts college with me this is young xehanort's keyblade i finished this uh, about a week week and a half ago uh the buyer still doesn't quite have the money yet and they said that I should, that if I wanted to, since I made it and all, um, that I can keep it for uh, Katsukan if I decide to um, go as young Xehanort. I would, <laughs> in order to do that, I'd have to slim down to be young Xehanort because I want it, I would want it to look perfect, and I'd have to get an Organization 13 cloak or, and uh, a wig. I already know where to get that stuff, but. It's just a matter of whether I want to spend my money for that, for one con. Otherwise, I can just make a new costume or go as one of the organization members. Maybe I'll even make Leia's Keyblade and go as him. But, um, okay, so starting off with paint, I have purple for the handle guards and gears and this little nut here and pearl white for this part and the wings and the tops and, the, and all that and then we have black obviously for this part and a light blue mixture a bark brown for the clock and a medium gray for the unnamed beast and I'll give a <clears throat> I'll give a side view so you guys can see what it looks like so there's that um we have cast resin uh, clock cover on here, and it's there's like a there is air inside. It's hollow. So I just put the uh, cast resin disc on it that I cast, and the uh, another cast resin eye. It's a bit smaller than the one on Way to Dawn, but uh, all this light blue on the keyblade is uh, glow in the dark, and I got it from GlowNation.com, which is a fantastic site for glow in the dark paint. They sell invisible paint, which is invisible in the daytime, and it glows pretty bright 
when it's dark. It lasts for about 10 hours or, you know, 5 to 10 hours depending on which color you get. Um, I got aqua, and in any pictures you'll see of it, it'll look a bit green. Um, I don't know why that happens. It's probably a setting on my camera, but it is actually aqua. And I'll show you guys at the end of the video. Um, what else is there? I think that was it. Um, a list of keyblades, the next ones that I'm making. Uh, I have um, Axel's Chakrams after I finish the Skull Noise. <coughs> and then I have a possible Oathkeeper Oblivion. And then still people that don't have their money quite ready. Uh, Leviathan, Starseeker, Sleeping Lion, uh, Bond of Flame, and other Bond of Flame. More Axel's Chakrams. So I've got lots of orders, they just don't have their money ready yet. And, uh, oh, I got a new scroll saw. <laughs> um, uh, right before I started making Young Xehanort's Keyblade. And it bevels, and it's got, uh, I think it's 16 inch throat, and speed um, changing, and it's uh, got a blower on it, so it blows the dust out of the way. Unfortunately, the light bulb blew out before I could even, you know, use it. It was maybe like five minutes and blew out. Um, <clears throat> I believe that is everything. If you have any requests for a Keyblade, let me know. I'll give you a price. Um, you can email me at mario20849 at yahoo.com. It's mario200849 at yahoo.com. Um, I also did make a Tumblr a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Keyblade Crafter with a hyphen in between Keyblade and Crafter. That is my uh, profile name. <clears throat> and my blog name is Cosplay Prop Making. And I have work in progress pictures and pictures of the finished Keyblades on there, as well as updates. <clears throat> so if you're looking for more updates, you can go on there. Or you can go to my DeviantArt account, which is Fina Form Sora. Um, and that's it. There's just one more thing, which is, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this thing, but I found this shell somewhere in Florida, and I cut off the top so I can make a conch shell. And I happen to be a trumpet player, so I understand how to buzz my lips, and it's actually a small cup size, but I'm going to play it, and it just started to snow, so that's awesome. Okay, so here we go. <coughs> one second. I just did it a second ago. There we go. Nice echo. Um, it does. I haven't played my trumpet in such a long time. You know, it's just uh, a bit tiring for my lips. Um. <clears throat> oh, I guess there is one more thing. Um, my. Tron Sora outfit. I, you know, I've been so busy with work and orders and school, I haven't had any time to work on it, but I will show you what I have done so far. I guess if it can be considered even being worked on. Um, what I did was I, I drew up sketches for the helmet and the body armor, so I decided to make that first. And I got this part done of the helmet. And uh, so I would still need to smooth out underneath. I just put layers and then I, I sand it. So I just put, I just got to sand it and then round it, whatever. And eventually get LED lights for it. And maybe PETE pl plastic and uh, thermoform it into the visor, the head visor, and, uh, so that's how that was going, but it doesn't look like I'll have it done anytime soon, which sucks, and that's it, so Merry Christmas to everybody, and, uh, maybe I'll see you at Katsukon or Anime Mid-Atlantic, but definitely Otakon, 
All right, see you guys later.